I think because I'm following my passion that things have presented themselves for me that I'm so grateful for. And so I think because I stayed on the path and I persevered and I had no choice but to be an artist. The universe has presented people in my life that have been very, oh my God, they've just really made a change in, in allowing me to, to continue to be on the path of an artist. I met Guy Webster, this is Guy Webster's studio, eight years ago. I was a photographer of a documentary that was being done on him. We became friends and I became his assistant shortly after. It's changed my life. It's taken my work to a level that I couldn't have taken it on myself in this amount of time. It really gave me incredible confidence. I've been a painter since I was 12, and I've been a photographer since I was 16. I was introduced to beauty by my mother. Even though she's not schooled in the arts, she is really in tune to color and seeing things in a different way. When she'd say, look at the sky, look at that color, she kind of focused me in a way to recognize beauty and to recognize light. And then when I was four years old, my father brought home a gigantic Crayola crayon box with the sharpener in the back. And I fell in love with color. I have a whole arsenal of paintings and photographs that I've been doing for the past 30 years. And I, I met a friend who was doing a lot of paintings and I asked her, where do you store these? And she said, I actually don't store them, I rent them to film and TV. And she told me about this gallery called Art Pick in North Hollywood. She introduced me to the curator, and I've been renting and selling my work through Art Pick for about five years now. There's not a lot of zeros oftentimes, but it's, it accumulates over time. It's this great passive income. Who thought an artist could have passive income? And then one day I came home and there were a lot of zeros. She had sold my paintings to Mad Men, an incredible iconic series, and that to have my work on Mad Men was very significant. Painting for me is the ultimate expression of what's going on inside me. Using my camera is photographing what's outside of me. Now what's attracting me is the black and white. Black and white distills everything down to, it really has to have an amazing composition. Your design has to be dead on, and you really have to know where you want the lights and darks and mediums to pop out. The organized chaos is the best way to, to, to put it. I just feel like the, the more I can get out of the way and get out of my head and just let the paint come through me and the expression come through me, I'm just the channel. I'm, I'm just letting it happen.